Hello everybody, in this video I would like to show you the updated version of the alignment tool which is uh, available from Microscope Image Browser version 1.23. So uh, first I open the data set which is uh, brain tissue taken imaged with the serial block face SCM and you can see that uh, there was some kind of a drift between some of the slices. So for example if I compare these two slices then you can see that there is translation of one slice against the previous one. So this kind of things can be corrected using the alignment tool which is available in the menu dataset alignment tool. There are a number of options but in general using this tool you can uh, align either the currently open dataset or align two stacks. One which is open and another one which you can load from the disk. There are three panels. The top panel which is called current dataset uh, shows uh, details of the currently open data sets such as its dimensions and pixel size. The second panel is called align and allows us to select the mode which we're going to use either the current data set or two stacks mode and the algorithms and different settings. So uh, the algorithm could be the drift correction which is default algorithm which gives the most uh, kind of the best results and it works uh, best with the images that are Comparable, comparably sized and with not that much changes between each other. Another algorithm is called uh, template matching. It works in the, some situation when we use this two stacks mode. And also there are two algorithms for landmark uh, alignment. The correlation for the, uh, for the alignment we can use uh, correlation with the previous slice, with the first slice or the slice which is relatively to the slice uh, which we currently uh, analyze. For example, if there is a 10 here, then it means that uh, the slice number 11 will be correlated with the slice number 1. Uh, also, if there are multiple color channels, we can select the color channel that we want to use for, uh, align, for al alignment. Sometimes we can get better results if we use the intensity gradient instead of the images, and in this case, you just need to click this uh, checkbox. Uh, during alignment, the shifts, the images will be uh, translated against each other, and the empty pixels that are appear can be filled with one of these colors, either white, black, uh, average value from the image, or any custom number. And the third panel is provides additional options, which we, uh, which I'll describe a little bit later, and uh, it depends, it changes itself depending on what kind of mode we select. So now we have this basic example of this uh, brain tissue. So, and in this particular case, case we will just okay. I will use the background the black to show what kind of what it means, and we use just default mode. So first, the algorithm calculates the shifts and shows them as a plot. If we're happy, we can use them. If we're not, we can just press no here. So now uh, I press yes, and the data set was aligned. And this black box, it's how this image was shifted. So we can see now that the data set is aligned and there, was no, there is no drift. Okay, let's open this image again. So there was, again, we can see the drift. And you can get back to the alignment tool and check these additional options. So uh, one of the options is called use sub window. In this case, uh, what will be done, the alignment will be calculated not for the whole image but rather for a small sub area which we can specify in these boxes. Uh, one of the possibilities to select this window is just go using the brush tool, select some kind of an area with some characteristic features, then get back to the alignment tool and select this uh, use sub window and press this get from selection button. In this case uh, this area which is surrounds this uh, green highlighted region will be transferred into here and uh, when we start this we can also uh, use parameters that we for example might have on the disk or we can save the parameters to a file so for example I can put it here and I press continue so now we can see it's almost immediate because it was just using this small area for uh, correlation rather than working with the bigger images and the result of alignment is essentially the same. Now I will open another data set, which is 
dataset from uh, root Arabidopsis Taliana. And what we can see here, we can see that uh, there is one specific cell that we are interested in, but it travels and drifts quite heavily, which is quite uncomfortable to work with. So what I want to do, I want to align it, but unfortunately I can't use really default alignment because there is a lot of background areas which are like here, uh, highlighted in white, and it doesn't really give a uh, very nice uh, alignment because of these areas. So what I need to do, I need uh, to use the brush tool to select this specific cell of interest or any object which you might have then after that I, I go through my data set and highlight the same cell after like certain number of slices where you can see that where it goes like this go further further so with this I just highlighted the area of interest that I want to use for alignment my main feature so now it's selected on some of the slices and uh, now I can fill these gaps by going to selection, interpolate this shape or using eye shortcut. What happens now that uh, the algorithm kind of fills the gaps between the selected area which I drawn and it does it for all thousand something sections of this data set. Okay, now it's done and we can see that it kind of follows cell of interest pretty uh, cell of interest pretty nicely now we can back to the alignment tool uh, we will use the same drift correction mode with the previous slice and now we will use this uh, option use mask or selection so the difference is that uh, we may have we, now we just selected it but we can also may have copied the selection to the mask and when we click on this checkbox the, the tool asks us in which from which layer uh, we want to take this area now it's in the selection layer which is in green so we press selection uh, define the background which is probably white and uh, press continue so now first the algorithm extracts these areas that we selected from the data set and after that it will we use these areas to calculate the drifts Okay, so now we can see the drifts on the screen and we will use these numbers to align the data set. Okay, now the data set is aligned and we can just check that, okay, you can see that it stays almost in the center of the screen without that much drifts as it was used to, to do. Okay, another mode, uh, another option is, for example, this is light microscopy data set of uh, that where you can see from in the time it actually drifts a little bit what we can do we can use the alignment tool to fix this we'll use the same drift correction mode because it's essentially the same image throughout this whole data set but uh, now for the uh, correlation we'll use the first slice so uh, when we'll do it it will take each slice of this movie and then correlate it to the first slice and we'll fill the, now the background uh, as black color so now again we're going through these thousands of sections and calculate the drifts and after drifts are calculated we just apply them okay and now we can see that actually this structure stays without much drifting it's also possible to stitch two data sets so I'll open one data set which is this beginning of that root and then it continued in this file so I want to stitch them together from one side I can just select them and uh, combine these two data set and after that run alignment uh, but sometimes it's faster to do using this alignment tool select two stack modes select now uh, whether we have files in the uh, like individual files files in the directory or we have all stacks in one single volume which is the case of in this particular uh, is this particular case now or we can import it from MATLAB so now we have this volume in a single file I select the second file after opening it shows me its dimensions and I can use automatic mode or I can provide shifts manually now I'll use automatic mode uh, and default algorithm and white background so these are the suggested shifts 
I'll just use them. Uh, there was 500 sections in the first image, so if I go here, so I can see that these tags are aligned fairly nicely. If, however, um, uh, I can, for example, if there is, okay, I'll just load them together, and then, for example, if I go to the slice 500, and you can see that these two data sets are shifted against each other. So to match them, for example, manually I can uh, select the similar features on the two sections. For example, I come here, select this uh, mitochondria and the same mitochondria on the second slice using this selection. You can see that they are in green now. And then I go to data set alignment, uh, select the single landmark point mode and uh, press continue. So it will do, just use these two points to kind of shift data sets against each other. So now we're at slice 500 and you, you can see that they fairly nicely aligned. One additional uh, option is could be that, okay, if I have this one of data set is quite big and another data set is small subfraction of the bigger one. In this case, you, we can also put align this together, but we have to use a different mode. So now, uh, okay, this is the first part. This is bigger data set, then I go to alignment tool, select two stack, mode, uh, volume in a single file, is and select the second part. Uh, now uh, this drift correction won't actually match them, so we have to use this template matching mode, white background, and continue. These are the shifts, and now if we look, so this is the second part, and now you can see that it was matched nicely to the bigger data set. Okay, so uh, that was in general about the uh, alignment tool and I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for attention.